Well, your favorite electronics dum-dum has finally returned, and I was somewhat victorious. This is the completed AM stereo transmitter kit from YouTube user 45 player, and I've hooked it up and been testing it out so far. This is just the uh, basic uh, low power version. I haven't done the high power modification, and after having watched his videos on the subject, I'm just not sure I'm quite up to that yet. That looks kind of kind of like a twiddly, twiddle fingers thing to do, and I just don't know that I'm that kind of a twiddle fingers. I do much better at putting components on a PC board as opposed to trying to bend all their legs to meet my will and solder them together and, you know, try to keep the swearing down to levels below that requiring a prescription. But what I have here, this thing is working and none of the parts have turned into dust, but it's only, uh, it's only halfway working. I only get half marks on this project because although I have uh, great audio from the right channel, I have nothing from the left hand channel. And I've kind of gone over all the things that I know how to go over on this thing. I've taken a look at my wiring underneath here and it's going to the right place and I have not, uh, I have not managed to short the input, so I, I think I'm okay there. I've been kind of tracing the uh, audio path in this uh, audio circuit here, but I'm not sure I really understand what all's going on in there yet. And in the course of assembling this thing, you know, you never want to have uh, extra parts when you assemble an electronics kit, because it usually means you did something wrong. But I did have a leftover resistor, and I believe this was left over from... Uh, setting up the uh, first the first part of the RF circuit here. I think that's what that is. Yeah, RF number one is when I think that was left over from. And I searched and searched and searched and watched the instructional video again just to make sure that I wasn't doing anything improperly. And I don't think I was. So, anyway, I don't know yet why the, uh, why the left channel of audio is not working. But when I hooked up an AM stereo tuner and decided to listen to this thing, I noticed that it was basically, well, there was no audio from the left channel. But there is audio coming from the right channel, and so it's better than nothing. So I'm going to demonstrate for you on this ultra spiffy alarm clock of mine. This is the finest alarm clock that you can buy at a garage sale, because not only is it certified for RAID, but I'm also pretty sure that it's got some kind of an acoustic waveguide up here that was shamelessly borrowed from ye old humidifier. So I'll turn this thing on and I've got it tuned into the frequency already. There's there's some hiss and there's some noise in the signal and I really think a lot of it's just the fact that this house is full of devices that are producing all kinds of interesting uh, radio frequency interference. But the sound of this thing, although this camera's microphone rolls off everything and makes it sound kind of flattened and lifeless, the sound is not bad at all. This this thing sounds very nice. And so I'll just pop a little song on here for you. There's something from the Blues Brothers soundtrack. You can listen to it. At least as much as the copyright police will allow us to do. That's getting close. I better turn it off. We'll play something else here. How about some more movie music? Something from Back to the Future. You know, one of these days I'm going to put that in a boombox. I'm going to wake the key keeper up with it. <laughs> but there you have it. This, uh, everyone's favorite electronics dum-dum has emerged at least partially victorious in his construction of the AM stereo transmitter kit. So I'm hoping to be able to work out the bugs. And maybe someday, you know, if I'm feeling adventurous, if I'm feeling bold, I might go ahead and try this uh, upgraded power kit. But I think that's going to wait for a while. So there you have it. Part 2 and the conclusion, at least for right now.